The City of Chicago, 1942. The city of Big Shoulders was about to take on a new mission as the U.S. prepared to mobilize for World War II. This new mission would utilize Navy Pier and Lake Michigan to train aircraft carrier fighter pilots. The advent of World War II created a high demand for qualified aircraft carrier pilots. Chicago was chosen due to its central location in the United States and because of its proximity to Lake Michigan. The military chose three locations, Glenview Naval Air Station, Navy Pier, and the USS Wolverine. Glenview Naval Air Station was established in 1923. The airbase primarily operated training aircraft as well as seaplanes on nearby Lake Michigan during World War II. Nearly 17,000 aviation cadets from the U.S. Navy, U.S. Marine Corps, and U.S. Coast Guard received their primary flight training here. Glenview Naval Air Station was located 22 miles northwest of Navy Pier and 7 miles west of Lake Michigan. Created in 1929, it was originally known as Curtis Reynolds Field and occupied little more than 200 acres. During World War II, the Navy quickly bought 1,200 adjoining acres and announced that Glenview would become its largest primary training base. The Navy invested $12.5 million in new hangars and over 12 miles of new runways. Over 800,000 flight hours were logged by the aviation cadets and nearly 2 million takeoffs and landings were successfully attempted. Later during the war, Glenview Naval Air Station also hosted advanced training in fleet combat aircraft. This was primarily for aircraft carrier qualification. An aviation cadet would have to successfully attempt 10 aircraft carrier landings before he was qualified. Originally built in 1914, Navy Pier was originally known as Municipal Pier No. 2. As part of the mobilization for World War II, the Navy converted the pier into a technical training center. The training center was built to accommodate up to 10,000 service personnel. The center was used to train aviation machinist mates, metalsmiths, and diesel mechanics. Eventually, a secondary school was established to help train electronic maintenance technicians. In the four and a half years under the Navy, over 60,000 servicemen from the U.S. and Allied nations trained at the pier in several types of schools. The Navy's Air Group training arm based a pair of flat tops at the pier and then converted them to use as freshwater training carriers. cadets, a thousand miles from the sea, learn the technique of flying with the fleet. In battle formation, they take off for their floating base of operations on one of America's great lakes. Formerly the world's biggest side wheel passenger steamer, she's now the training carrier Wolverine. Student pilots land and take off from her 550 feet flight deck under conditions identical to those at sea. An inland carrier training 10,000 new Navy fighter pilots a year.
the USS Wolverine was a makeshift aircraft carrier designed to operate on Lake Michigan, where there were no threats from enemy submarines. Originally named the CMB, she was a sidewheel excursion steamer built in 1913. She was then acquired by the Navy on March 12, 1942. The Wolverine began her new job in January 1943, accompanied by her sister ship, the USS Sable. In conjunction with Glenview Naval Air Station, the two paddle wheels offered critical training and basic carrier operations to thousands of pilots. Conversion to a training aircraft carrier began on May 6, 1942. Key to her mission was the 550-foot flight deck that she received. One of the 17,000 cadets to go through the program eventually became the 41st President of the United States. The metropolitan area of Chicago continued to grow until it reached its current population at around 8 million. Glenview Naval Air Station was decommissioned in 1995. Now it is an upscale residential and retail area. Navy Pier has gone through many changes. It is now owned by the city of Chicago and is the number one tourist destination in the state of Illinois. The USS Wolverine was decommissioned November 7, 1945 was later scrapped in December 1947.